Hi folks and welcome to episode 3 and in this episode what we're going to be doing is uh, we've built our little atolls there so uh, again I'm going to be working with the basic one. Let's get it opened up and I'll explain exactly what we're going to be doing today. So what we've got right now is a bunch of atolls here and uh, just headquarters have been placed uh, so far inside this uh, scenario. What I want to be able to do is I want to be able to invade these uh, atolls. So what I'm going to set up first is an invasion hex. Uh, to be able to set up an invasion hex out of it, uh, basically what you're going to have to do is go into the tile button here. So here you're going to have to click on the tile button. And for the atolls, this is the invasion hex that I have to place somewhere around the atoll. You have six hexes around that you could place it in but you're going to have to place it in one of them uh, so that you can actually invade that particular hex. As it stands right now uh, if I were to try to invade I wouldn't be able to. So I'm going to click on this hex here to highlight it. I know it's highlighted because of the orange square around it and also at the bottom of the screen I can see that it's bright 119 which allows me to do invasions and that's where these little plus signs and this here that's part of the ocean and that it's connected to land here and it allows me to actually uh, invade uh, the the atoll so I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna take each one and I'm gonna place one here I'm gonna place another one here and I'm just gonna place them south of the islands which is okay and make sure that that one doesn't need it and that one doesn't need it because it has beach hexes on it okay so here are my atolls I've got them all lined up now what do I want to study today so first of all first things first I'm gonna save this uh, as my basic one so and again remember as I mentioned before um, what I'm going to be talking today about is recon so I'm gonna call this basic WDP recon here Actually, what I should do first is save it as the basic. So now that it's saved as the basic, so I can change, don't have to add these again when the next time I kind of open it, but then I'm gonna turn around and save it as recon. So I wanna study recon with it. Okay, so if I wanna study recon with it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at it from the point of view of the Japanese. What can the Japanese see uh, since they control these atolls here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some submarines and I'm going to place them all in the map location here. I'm also going to take some units here so that I can actually invade these atolls and see how a recon impacts uh, the actual visibility of my fleet. Now I'm going to add a little bit of fun to this particular video. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to take a look at uh, intelligent levels also. Um, so, in a nutshell, what is it exactly that I want to study? Well, let's take a look at it from the point of view of the manual if I can. And uh, again, I'm looking at it from the point of view of reconnaissance being extremely important. So if we look at the manual, and I can just read this out to you, the reconnaissance level determines how often a fleet is found at sea and how much information a player gets from enemy units at land. Now, we're dealing strictly here with... Uh, naval because again Pacific is really important um, with naval battles and the importance of this is so great remember in World War II it's if I could see you first then I could actually attack you first so I'd have to find you first so I could see you and then I could send out my uh, fleets out to intercept you or attack you so reconnaissance in this game turns out to be extremely important so you have to take advantage of your opportunities when you get a chance so high reconnaissance levels are present near a country's territory and drop off as the player gets further from the country's controlled land so when you're talking about controlled land here you're really talking about ownership the part in red is what i typed in and, and uh, ownership is a hex has an owner and a controller um, and when you take a look at that from the basis of recon, if I control a hex, as I'm close to that hex, I would have high recon. As I move away from that hex, I would end up my recon would actually drop. And when I take a look at that, there are basically uh, different types of recon levels or different levels of recon levels of information here. So you can see here, 
that there's medium to high reconnaissance levels here and there's also uh, very low and low reconnaissance levels uh, that I need to deal with. So the information provided based off of uh, the reconnaissance level uh, is simple and straightforward. If you have a low reconnaissance level, you're not going to get too much information. But if you have a higher level of reconnaissance, more information is actually provided for you. And interception becomes a little bit easier from our point of view. Now this is new to War Plan. Uh, so this is not in War Plan Europe, so I'm going to bring this up now. So it turns out there's a thing called hidden fleets and the only way that you can reveal these hidden fleets and it's a possibility is using a communication intelligence. That's what COMINT actually stands for here. And that's what I want to kind of take a peek at today. So these are the concepts that I want to look at from the manual and you can see here the reconnaissance level very low, low, medium, high and very high are all the ones that we get. So very low would provide hardly any information whereas very, very high would provide a lot of information. Again, I'm only dealing with naval units but enemy land units also the information provided by reconnaissance depends on its location to the front because again the reconnaissance level in the back of the front would be very low but near the front where your units are it would be higher so keep that in mind from our point of view so these are the things that where I'm gonna concentrate on when I'm dealing with this particular episode here okay so I've been setting up the episode in such a way that I could deal with this so let's add some units here so that I can actually check things out. So I'm going to go to country. Remember to add units, I go to country. And what I want is I want to add uh, British submarines. So I click on Britain and then I click on the unit build button. And I don't care really about the levels, the anything like that, because I'm just checking recon here. So the values of the sub don't mean anything to me. Uh, what I want to be able to do when I place a submarine, instead of an attack sub, I want to have higher supply values. So I'm going to go with long range submarines so that I can at least do some of my testing uh, a little bit longer at sea without adding a whole bunch of uh, suppliers, oil suppliers and stuff like that. I don't, I don't want to have to deal with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a sub here. And all I do is once I've this is all selected here with long range 1939 I just left click I'm gonna put another sub here and I'm just gonna zigzag the subs around my atolls Okay, so there's my subs. They're all kind of placed there. Now, what I, since these hexes or these atolls right now are controlled by the Japanese, what I want to be able to do is invade them, invade them eventually. I've got a couple options here. I can actually throw my transports already at the sea here. But what I'm going to do is, and this is just for uh, safety, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to look at uh, my landing craft here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ramp this up. I'm holding the shift key down when I uh, left mouse click to give me about 200. I'm going to take about 300 transports here. Uh, again, uh, just in case I have to go into some extra turns here, I want uh, naval supply. Those are the oilers. So I'm going to have 100 of them so I can keep going. Again, I've got oil saved 100. I'm going to ramp it up to the max with just 200. I'm not going to be producing anything so I'm not too worried about this okay so I'm not worried about this at all uh, now when it comes to actually Intel points uh, at this point in time I want you to take a little peek at this portion of the screen here okay this first number here is the number of uh, points available to build income okay that's what this is and I'm gonna ramp this up the encryption level of the UK at this point in time is a hundred percent. In part two of this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that when you decrypt uh, a country's code uh, what impact it has with regard to the game itself. But in this one here what I want to be able to do is I want the Japanese to actually be able to create com points and also be able to display um, 
the naval vessels that are hidden. Remember, that's the goal here. We're looking at recon here and understanding recon and how COMINT works in conjunction with uh, recon to help us be able to identify uh, naval vessels and see which we normally would not be able to, uh, to do anything with. Remember, in War Plan Europe, everything was visible. This one here, they're invisible, the ships, so I need to be able to identify them. So I've got my, my uh, transports here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to build my units, and I'm going to build some Marines, and I'm actually going to put them at sea. Since there's nothing to worry about here, what I'm going to do is just basically do a little bit of island hopping. Um, I'm only going to do two. And I'm not too worried with regard to uh, uh, the Japanese attacking because, again, I, I'm doing a hot seat mode, so I'm just testing things out here. Okay, so we're looking at game mechanics here, reconnaissance, and uh, the importance of these little atolls out there. Okay, so here you go. I've got this all lined up, and now I go to Japan here. So I go back up to the country, click on country, and then click on Japan. And I'm going to go into the information screen, and what I'm going to do is to the intel points, I'm going to crank them up. So I'm going to hold the shift key, and it looks like the maximum is a thousand that I'm going to be able to get. So there you go. And the encryption level of Japan is still at a hundred percent. Now I could do some testing here if I want to, uh, with regard to how it impacts it uh, at the same time. But I wanted to separate it in the video so you can see them in in part one and part two and be able to differentiate uh, the difference level of com int and how it actually works so i can explore it a little bit more so here's my map uh, i've got everything that i want to be able to test this to see how things work what can the japanese see that's the concentration here we're taking a look at it from the point of view of the japanese side okay so i'm going to turn around and what i'm going to do is this time i'm going to take the basic in uh, WPP and I'm going to save it as uh, Intel. Actually I can save it as Recon. I've got too many of them as it is. I'm happy with that. I can play around with that. Okay so now I'm going to exit out. I'm going to start my new game. I'm going to go in hot seat mode and the Japanese start off right off the bat. Let's take a look at exactly what they see when you start off the scenario and how it works, okay? There we go. So it looks like the British, they're uh, interdicting uh, port supply. This unit here is blocking some supply from getting to this. So it's blocked five supply and it looks like this one's doing its job too and it's blocked off uh, five supply also so the submarines are doing their thing because they're a certain distance from the port these ones here decided not to uh, so be it okay so now from the Japanese point of view if you take a look I can see every single submarine all of them are there I can see them all okay uh, I can't see the transports but I can actually see all the submarines that are out there now Again, when you take a look at recon level, I need you to concentrate or take a look at this lower part of the left side of the screen here, and in particular, the recon level of a particular hex. So you can see the recon level very low where my hex, where my hex, or I should say my cursor is selected. So when I click on the actual uh, main Japan here, I can see that my recon level on the bottom portion of my screen on this particular hex is very high. Now watch as I click away from this. I get high, high again, medium, medium. So this recon information for the ship comes from a, a medium recon level of uh, this particular hex. So all I see is two subs within the area. That's the only information that I'm getting out of all of it. As I move away, and again I'm going straight down here, I go into low, 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 and as very low. So notice as I move away from my controlled hex, my recon levels change. So when I'm clicking on each of these, I can still see the fleet at a low level. 
they don't become hidden until they hit a very low level so each of my fleets here you can see the levels here low and low they're still visible you can tell that I've placed these in particular spots so I, I have sort of done this before and practiced it so that you guys uh, there's no surprises so to speak okay but notice over here they're very low so my actual transports the Japanese cannot see so what can the Japanese do to be able to reveal some of the fleets that are going to be hidden in the future as I capture a lot of these atolls well they can go up to this flag here with regard to diplomacy here and uh, they can I'm not going to try to decrypt it that's for part two what I'm going to do is create com ints now notice here I've got a hundred a thousand and five points so this turn I gained five points so I'm going to make as many as I can they won't be available next turn it takes uh, uh, I think a month to actually create them so I'm gonna have to go ahead a little bit and as I go ahead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna capture some territories so now remember you can see all the subs at this point in time now I turn around and I'm gonna capture this particular atoll so again to invade it I've got my invasion hex that I've created I disembark and I've now captured this hex. It was controlled by the Japanese, but now it's controlled by me. I move to the next turn, and remember, here's my all my subs all around the islands here. Let's see which ones I can see and which ones I cannot see on the Japanese turn. Well, now I go here, and notice the two subs in this particular location here have disappeared. When I go to check my uh, actual comp intelligence kind of builds here, I still got another turn here, so I can't test anything with this with regard to this. But you notice here, when I take a look at this particular hex beside the coast, which was it high for the Japanese when they controlled the territory, now turns out to be low. So when I'm looking at this, I can see that it's low. So as I'm moving out here to my sub, you notice the next hex over is very low. So any fleet within that particular very low sort of reconnaissance status becomes invisible. That's new to Warplan Europe. Okay, so sorry, that's new to Warplan Pacific, and that does not exist in Warplan Europe. Notice, I could repeat the process again. And capture this other atoll here. So now, the Japanese have lost two atolls. And when I move on to their turn, I notice even more submarines here have become invisible. So when I take a look at this one and click on it, okay, this is still in a low spot, so it's a vi it's visible. But the ones in the very low spot down below has become invisible. But as luck would have it, or planning, I've built Calm Intelligence. Now, by building Calm Intelligence, I no longer control that particular hex. So again, the reconnaissance level, and again, you're looking at the bottom portion of the screen here. I mean, away from this, it's very low, very low right off the bat, and rain's not helping this situation because it's dropping my reconnaissance level somewhat too, okay? These ones here are still medium and so forth, so I can still see them, okay? But if I take my Calm Intelligence, one of the things it says in the manual is it will it could reveal a uh, hidden naval vessel so I'm gonna deploy this and when I go to deploy it what happens is you get this uh, light green color that appears on the hexes that you can actually click on to deploy these now what ends up happening depending on the encryption level of the country that you're deploying it on is uh, what type of intelligence you're gonna get okay and we're gonna study this in the next video and I can give more detail so a general note is that 
since the UK is a hundred percent still encrypted more than likely I will get more low intelligent levels than high uh, intelligent uh, levels so I click on this and you can see here I've gotten a low one but notice even with a low one my two subs have now appeared when I click here again I've gotten a low one and you can see my other sub here has also appeared so when you're studying uh, recon from this point of view you can see the game has really added uh, a, a really nice uh, sort of option here where your fleets are invisible and a counter option to make them visible again by using uh, com int and I can repeat the process for uh, the other atolls too if I want to but it sort of defeats the purpose here uh, the idea is just to get an idea of what recon is like and how I would go about testing it from my point of view um, within the, the series itself. Uh, the big question now in part two, which it doesn't have anything to do with scenario creation, is how do I take this and uh, change this example in such a way so that you can see when a country is decrypted or when, a, uh, let's say, Japanese code has been decrypted what impact does it actually have and that's part two of the video itself okay everyone thank you again for watching stay safe uh, and take care bye now